Padma Hangsa Padipad Jagat Charja Asta Tadasi Sri Maharaj Divine Grace Abhay Charanamrind Bhakti Viranta Swami Shri Lapabhu Padi Grantara Chimar Bhagavatam Ki Jai Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai Sri Sri Rukmini Dwarakadish Ki Jai Shri Lapabhu Padi Ki Jai Tai Gaurabhi Manandi All glories to the sum of the bodies All glories to the sum of the bodies All glories to the sum of the bodies Glories to Sri Guru and Gauranga Nama Om Vishnu Padai Krishna Padastai Bhutale Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namani Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Bacharini Nivishesha Shunyavadi Prasthata Rishatarini Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto, chapter 6, entitled Creation of the Universal Form. Number 32. Visho Varatanta Tasyor Bor Luka Ritikadir Vibo Vaishas Tadudavo Varatam Nirinam Yak Samavarta Yat Visho Vartanta Tasyorbo Visho Vartanta Tasyorbo Loka Vritika Dir Vibo Loka Vritika Dir Vibo Vaishastadu Dhabo Partam Vaishastad Udbhavo Vartam Nrinam Yaksama Vartayat Nrinam Yaksama Vartayat Visho Vartanta Tasyarvo Loka Vritika Dirvivo Vaishastarud Bhavo Vartam Ninam Yaksama Vartayat Visho Vartam Tatas Yorbor Loka Vritika Dirvibo Vaishya stad udbhavo vartam Ninang yaksama vartayat Visho vartam tatas yorbor Loka vritika dir vibo Vaishya stad udbhavo vartam Dinam Yaksama Vartayat Bhuhu Aishastad Bhavo Vartam Yaksama Vartam Ladies Visho Vartanta Tas Yorbor Luka Vritik Karir Vibo 
वैश्यस्तद उद्भव वार्ता दीनम नक्षम वार्तया विशो वर्तन तो अस्यर भोल लोक वृत्त करीर विभो वैश्यस्तद उद्भव दीनम नीनम यक्षम वर्तयत विशो वर्तन तत्स्योभो लोका वृत्तिक करीर विभो वैश्यस्तद उद्भवो वर्तम विशाह means of living by production and distribution. Avartanta generated. Tasya his, the gigantic forms. Urvo from the thighs. Loka vrittak, I'm sorry, Loka vrittakari means of livelihood. Vibho of the Lord, Vaishya, the mercantile community, Tat, there, Udbhava, orientation, Vartam, means of living, Nariyannam, of all men, Yak, one who, Samavartayat, executed. Translation and purport by his divine grace, Shila Isi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki The means of livelihood of all persons, namely production of grains and their distribution to the prajas, was generated from the thighs of the Lord's gigantic form. The mercantile men who take charge of such execution are called Vaishyas. Purport. Human society's means of living is clearly mentioned here as visha or agriculture. And the business of distributing agricultural products, which involves transport, banking, etc. Industry is an artificial means of livelihood, and large scale industry, especially, is the source of all the problems of society. In Bhagavad Gita, also the duties of the Vaishyas who are engaged in Visha are stated as cow protection, agriculture, and business. We have already discussed that the human being can safely depend on the cow and agricultural land for his livelihood. The exchange of produce by banking and transportation is a branch of this type of living. <coughs> The Vaishyas are divided into many subsections. Some of them are called Chaitri or landowners. Some are called Krishna or land tillers. Some of them are called Tilavanik or grain raisers. Some are called Gandavanik or merchants in spices. And some are called Suvarnavanik or merchants in gold and banking. The brahmanas are the teachers and spiritual masters. The chatriyas protect the citizens from the hands of thieves and miscreants. And the vaishyas are in charge of production and distribution. The shudras, the unintelligent class of men who cannot act independently in any of the above mentioned activities, are meant for serving the three higher classes for their livelihood. Formerly, the brahmanas were given all the necessities of life by the Kshatriyas and Vaishyas because they had no time to spend making a living. The Kshatriyas would collect taxes from the Vaishyas and Shudras, but the brahmanas were exempt from paying income tax or land revenue. 
that system of human society was so nice that there were no political, social, and economic upheavals. <coughs> the different cases, castes, or Varna classifications are therefore essential for maintaining a peaceful human society. Oh, my God, it's a miranda, Sagin and Jena Shalaka Chakshun, Litam Jenitas, my secret in my. Ugam Guru Divachal and Pankam Langai, take him yard keep with them when they see him in a taranum. But when on the Maharavam sees it and Yish for him. So we've been hearing so nicely the last few days, yesterday, day before, so many wonderful classes in which it's being described how critical and where from the uh, structure and peace of society is generated. There's a very nice conversation between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Rai in which the Lord asked Ramananda to recite a verse which would help us to understand the ultimate goal of life. Right? Varnashrama Charavata Purushena Parakpuman Vishnu Arajate Panta Nanyata Toshakaranam It's described in the Vedic literature is that the Lord is worshipped by proper execution of one's prescribed duties. And in the practice of that, uh, that's the beginning. We should first of all understand because Jaitanya Mahaprabhu, later on, he asks Ramananda uh, to give me more. And ultimately, Ramananda uh, describes the different levels of surrender and uh, the different rasas uh, culminating in the special relationship between uh, Radha and Krishna. But for the purposes of understanding this verse better and Srila Prabhupada's wonderful purport because Srila Prabhupada makes so many incredible uh, observations and points that uh, uh, it would be good for us to focus on that uh, so, in that discussion, in that uh, verse, it's described, uh, again, we have to understand that this is just the beginning. So, in the beginning, uh, one has to analyze uh, the qualities and faults uh, which are there in the uh, different... Um, classes, you could say, the different varnas, because every, uh, because they're conducted uh, primarily by the modes of nature. The varnashram dharma is uh, working within the uh, qualities of material nature. So there are certain uh, qualities that have to be observed, analyzed, and there's certain faults that have to be observed, and ultimately one has to give them up for the process of uh, devotional service or pure devotional service. And that is the first class uh, person. And as the verse states that uh, there's no other way to satisfy the personality of Godhead. We can do so many things, but working within this perfect system, Chatur Varnya Maya Krishna has given us, working within that system, uh, everything is there, and one can achieve the uh, goal of life. Um, here, Srila Prabhupada is so nicely pointing out that the means of livelihood for all persons, it's not, uh, it's not um, that somebody is outside of that uh, circle, at least civilized human life. Of course, there's the animals and animalistic uh, uh, persons. 
But within civilized life, uh, this is the means for all persons. Uh, we, we're constantly hearing how in the world there are uh, so many uh, suffering living beings, uh, how there's famine in such and such place. I was hearing something yesterday about one country that just a few years ago they had some terrible famine and a quarter of a million people died from it. And now they're going through uh, a, another similar famine and drought. So there's, uh, there's certainly um, uh, a need for uh, the um, proper organization of society to avoid those kinds of situations. Uh, someone may say, well, well, it's because of uh, uh, climate and because of, ultimately, it's because society has lost uh, its understanding of what is the ultimate goal of life. And people are engaged in sinful activities. And as a result, uh, we're seeing so many suffering conditions uh, in society. Uh, so this system which the Lord has uh, established uh, is a perfect system. It's perfect because every order in that society is critical. Uh, Srila Prabhupada so many times uh, uh, describes how uh, you can have the uh, head, uh, but if you don't have any arms or if you don't have any legs, you can have legs, but if you don't have a head, uh, you can have the stomach, but if you don't have the head, if, if you don't have uh, uh, this part or that part, it's incomplete. It doesn't function. It's such a, uh, uh, a, a perfect system. So here again, Srila Prabhupada is pointing out that <coughs> um, society's means of living is clearly mentioned here, which means agriculture and business. Now, that what kind of business are we talking? Well, Srila Prabhupada points out is distribution of agricultural products because within that um, system, maintaining uh, cows, uh, maintaining the land, Rishi Gorak Shabani Jam, right? Vaisha Karma Sabhava Jam. There's a, a place, uh, there's a system set there that if things are done properly, then everything is uh, provided for. The, not only is there food, which everyone needs, everyone needs uh, food grains. Uh, right now there's uh, uh, another situation going on in uh, Europe. We know that because of the conflict, uh, millions of people are uh, on the verge of starvation. Again, it's uh, because the system has been uh, broken. Because of the uh, uh, ignorance of uh, the leaders of the world, the system is broken. And as a result, people are suffering uh, like crazy. But here, uh, we're seeing from the pages of the Bhagavatam that uh, agriculture and business is there. What is that business though? That th business involves uh, distribution of those agricultural uh, products, products which, which include uh, transport, banking, all those things are there but they're done uh, in connection with uh, protection of the cows and uh, cultivation of the land. Prabhupada points out here that industry is an artificial means of livelihood, especially uh, the large-scale industry. Instead of uh, producing bombs, tires, and plastics, it should be used toward directing or, or cultivating uh, the land and protecting uh, the cows. 
and that is the business of the uh, Vaisha community as, as uh, is uh, focused on uh, uh, this particular purport. Shil Prabhupada points out that we've already discussed that the human being can, be sa can safely depend on the cow and agricultural land for his livelihood. Everything is there. Everything is there. But again, because of the um, misdirected uh, society, uh, there's that understanding is, is lost. And people don't know what is there, what, is, what are they to do and what are, they, what are they not to do, as Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita. Right? What is that verse? They don't know what is to be done and what is not to be done. Janana Vidurasada. The misdirected civilization, the society is such that people don't know what is to be done and what is not to be done. But everything is there within the uh, system that the Lord has given us. And the divisions are uh, quite clear. Everyone has their particular uh, position. Prabhupada so nicely describes here that uh, the Vaishya uh, community is divided into uh, different subsections where you can do your business. If you want to engage in spice business, if you want to engage in gold and banking business, if you want to engage in a land business, or if you want to till the land, or if you want to uh, protect the cows and uh, do business in that way, business is there, that's okay. But it has to be done uh, in, uh, uh, in a, a controlled or uh, uh, progressive system, progressive way. Not that we become uh, uh, overly uh, materialistic by it. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Maharaj uh, explains or comments that a simple-heartedness is synonymous with Vaishnavism. And that simple-heartedness is a quality which makes the topmost brahmanas. Instead of being consumed by uh, endeavoring for, uh, uh, Prabhupada actually comments like that in the seventh canto. He says that a one who is endeavoring to collect more money than necessary is considered a thief and is punishable by material nature. So it's not that we uh, can't work, but if we work in the wrong direction, if we work it with the misunderstanding of sense gratification or, or my own uh, uh, livelihood and not consider other living beings, uh, then it, uh, it creates a, a chaotic situation in the world. The brahmanas have their position, as Prabhupada is pointing out here, samodha right? They're meant to be peaceful, they're meant to be self-controlled, they're meant to be austere, uh, they're meant to be pure. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta comments, they're meant to be simple-hearted. The uh, the Chatriyas have their business, as Prabhupada points out here, protecting the citizens, right? They're meant to be uh, heroic, or they're meant to be uh, uh, exhibit power or determination, resourcefulness. And the Vaishyas here, are we, uh, Prabhupada is pointing out, are in charge of uh, production and distribution. Rishi Gorak Shavanajam. And the Sudras, those who are uh, can't work in those divisions are meant to serve the rest of society, are meant to serve the uh, three higher classes for their livelihood. And uh, so it, it's, a, it's a, 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 perfect, a perfect system. As Prabhupada points out here, the brahmanas uh, were given all the necessities of life by the Chachyas and Vaishyas because they had no time to spend making a living. Mantra Tantra Visharada. Their business was to teach uh, mantras and uh, the 
execution of the principles of uh, human life. Everyone has their um, particular uh, duty. Um, and also, Sri Prabhupada is pointing out here that the Kshatriyas would collect taxes from the Vaishyas and Shudras, but the Brahmanas were exempt from a paying income tax or land revenue. That system of human society was so nice that there were no political, social, or economic upheavals. Srila Bhakti Sanatana Maharaj, again, he uh, comments that uh, if we desire to follow auspicious, um, auspiciousness uh, in this life, then one should uh, disregard the, the theories of countless people. Everyone has their theory. You can see uh, there's countless people who are giving so many opinions about how society should be, uh, how society should function, how it should be managed. And so he warns that if we desire to follow auspiciousness, uh, that, uh, uh, the auspicious path of life, then one should disregard the theories of countless people. We should instead hear from uh, the transcendental source. And the Bhagavatam tells us that, right? Dharmasya hiyapa vargasya narto rataya kalpate That the occupational duties that one performs are meant for liberation, not material gain. And, and especially one who's engaged in the ultimate occupation, and that is devotional service, uh, it should never be used for uh, sense gratification. Because even in... A devotional service, sometimes uh, the allurements uh, come, right? We become, we may attra be attracted by uh, fame or followers, opulence. It happens. The ultimate occupation is uh, devotional service, bhakti yoga. But even in that, uh, there's a danger. So one has to be very, very careful. There's a, a very nice instruction uh, given by um, Chanakya Pandit in which he says, avidyam jivanam shunyam that uh, life without knowledge uh, is empty. And we see that practically. Uh, if you don't understand uh, what you're here for, uh, it's an empty life. And people are wandering aimlessly. They're trying to figure out what to do. They go to college. They spend so much time and energy and resources. They get out. They still don't know what they're doing and what their goal in life is. Because they haven't really uh, been educated in the, in, in the highest science, in the highest knowledge, and that is uh, Krishna consciousness. So... Uh, Life without uh, knowledge, uh, it's empty. It's empty. They may uh, try to get degree after degree and then afterwards they become, just take shelter of intoxication or some other uh, madness. And then he says, Diksha Shunya Cha Bhandava, that uh, all the directions are void without friends. It's interesting. All directions are void without friends. You can go here, you can go there, but if you don't have a friend, then what is the use? You just walk aimlessly. Years ago they had the, uh, and even now I, I'm sure, years ago they had, uh, during the 60s and 70s, they had the hippie movement. And these young people were just aimlessly going here and going there all over the place, right? They would end up here going, hey, where have you been? Well, I'm going, I'm hitchhiking out to here, or I'm going out to there. So, uh, but uh, without friends, it's just a useless wandering. 
And then he says, Sarva Shunya Darid. No, he says, Putra Hinam Griham Shunyam. That a family without a son is void. And the idea is that, of course, the son uh, or the child is meant to uh, assist the parents uh, and uh, assist them uh, in their uh, devotional lives. Assist them. It's not that they're born and then they just take off and do nothing. And adios amigo. See you later. And don't call me, I'll call you. No. So it's, it's void again. And then he says, Sarva Shunya Daridrata, that uh, for the whole, the whole world is void for the poor. So what is the uh, alternative? It's a fact. For the poor, the whole world is void. It doesn't matter where they're at, what can, uh, where this place, that place, uh, it's devoid. It, it, it's a void. There's no meaning to it. It's just aimlessly uh, living or waiting, uh, day to, uh, waiting for the next day. Well, what is going to happen tomorrow? It doesn't matter what happens tomorrow. It doesn't mean anything to me. Let me just get through another day. And in some cases, get through another night. And in some cases, it's hour to hour. So many people are suffering in uh, so many places across the world. And they're living hour to hour. They're so uh, poor. They're so... Uh, uh, what is it? Malnu uh, malnutritional? What, what's the word? Malnourished. That's what it is. They're so malnourished in every sense that it's a void. So, uh, as uh, Srila Prabhupada points out here, we should hear only from uh, the transcendental sources and that transcendental sources is the Srimad Bhagavatam because the Srimad Bhagavatam is uh, uh, giving information on how we can educate the people because knowledge has to be there education has to be there what is that education? that education is to understand the value of life the human form of life right? Atato Brahma Jignasa we have to understand what is real education it doesn't mean getting uh, some a bunch of papers on the wall behind your desk that you've achieved so many things <laughs> and it also means uh, developing meaningful exchanges because again uh, without uh, friendships uh, whatever direction you're going is meaningless it's void so there has to be some meaningful relationships. Those are uh, very nicely described by Rupa Goswami, right? In the six exchanges between the devotees. Revealing oneself confidentially and listening to, uh, to confidential talks. These are important things. There has to be that, uh, that meaningful uh, discussion has to be there. It, it, the, the society uh, uh, in general is so shallow there's nothing there's nothing there beyond some uh, some little niceties in the beginning and then afterwards it just becomes a shallow conversation if any so uh, there has to be some meaningful relationship developed and then, of course, there has to be the, uh, a healthy family unit. Not that we just produce children to have uh, the sex uh, or to uh, get some uh, profit. <coughs> but it has to be there for uh, producing a healthy family unit. Otherwise, the family is void. And then, of course, providing the, uh, the necessities for all the basic necessities for all. Otherwise, everyone is poor. 
Everyone is poor. It doesn't matter. You can have some fancy car, but you're a pauper if you don't understand what is the purpose of your being here. You're, you're really poor. You don't understand. So um, the system that the Lord has uh, given to us is so complete. As Prabhupada points out here, the means of livelihood for all persons Human society's means of living is clearly mentioned here. Everything is, is crystal clear if you listen, if you want to listen, if you're sincere. Otherwise, it's just over the head and, oh, okay, let's, let's get on to something else. This is too boring. I've heard too much of this. I've heard all this stuff before. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Unfortunate. The different castes or Varna classifications are therefore essential for maintaining a peaceful human society. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Any questions or comments? Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Okay.